and then the nearby Kingstone is plundered by a marauder knight. Kingstone, what a regal name for a mud hole. Anyway, the village belongs to the throne, and I'm. It says free them from the marauding knight and put the remaining villagers to work in Camelot. I nearly thought it was going to say put them to the sword, but. I think we are too late. I don't see any survivors. Free the village. Can I? Can I? Oh, I see. I see. But, yeah, I can loot that guy. Take a look at this. Garbage or real treasure this time. Can we go wandering around. I don't think we can explore too far off the beaten track for this. Well, if it isn't good, Sir Balan. Come on, then, fellows. Let's play. Is he on? I think he's on our side, is he not? Yes. The righteous fool. Trying to save the village on his own. Yeah. I thought so. Right, so can we get Your Sir Kay in there? We can't get Kay in where he can hit. His movement's really bad, isn't it? What's this one? Overwatch. When enemies enter the selected area in the next turn, immediately execute one attack for every four action points consumed. Right, so if I move to here, put Overwatch. Oh, I, I can't. Um, it's select an area. I wonder if that's only going to apply to ranged weapons. I don't know. We'll have to figure this this out. But may as well save those. I've got to try this, haven't I? This shield charge. <laughs> nice, I'll take that. Um, he's on the floor. Downed. And save those last points. Oh, they're ganging up on Bob over here. Right, kill him. Move in to there. It's nice that you can't just run past people to really cheese getting behind them in this. I think that's probably Awaiting a good thing. We may as well just go in one here. So I can go in Overwatch, but there's no point. I'm just going to go for a big slap. By the old gods. Sir Mordred, the rumours are true then. You have returned. Can't change the camera angle for this. Sir Balan, or Balan, wasting away your talents as always. I'm only following my knightly oath by protecting the innocent. The nearby village is plagued by these brigands, and I must stop them. I hate to admit, but I'm here for the same reason. I need this land. So you are truly taking King Arthur's place in Camelot, recruiting knight. You should find my brother. He would be a great fit to your dark court. I fought and killed your late father in Camelot. No hard feelings, I hope. Finally, you committed a murder that you should not regret. He became a disgrace to everything he fought for in his life. Death was salvation for him. Where is Sir Balin? That selfish, wild zealot is busy defending our heirloom at the Bridge of Sorrow. It should have been mine. But he ignored our father's will. Okay, tell me about that. Curse upon Balan. Anyway, my late father believed in Arthur's creed that a knight is defined by the deeds, not by the land. What do you know about King Arthur? I must find him, or should I say that is my knightly quest? You are not the only one looking for him. Something terrible happens to Avalon, and people need guidance. You have a point. I'm going to try and play because I, I want to play like the good guy. You see me play Baldur's Gate 3, the good paladin folk hero. I'm going to try and play like that. You have a point. Do you have any idea where he could be? The ship that brought him to Avalon reached shore beyond the Bridge of Sorrows. I would start looking for him there in the Whispering Cove. That's what my father told me and my brother anyway. I'll get to the bridge as soon as I'm finished here. Our goals are the same. I'll accompany you. Free the village. This is this is nice. Okay, we don't need to select them individually. We don't need to do anything fancy with them. 
we just move them. It looks a bit grim. It looks Diablo-like, doesn't it, with piles of corpses? Half of the village is killed and maimed, the other half hiding in the woods. We must stop this. That's a fight. Is there anything... Poor little piggies. Poor little piggies. Right, so this... Do we, do we save? Let me just check this. Save on quick, quick save on F5. I like that. It's like the universal save button, isn't it? Gather all you can. The dead won't need anything, will they? These brigands are not even worthy to stand trial. We shall kill them all. Still a good old Balan. Protector of the weak. Spare me the cynicism. You are here for the same reason as I am. To save these people. Yes. I need them to work the fields, see? You are a disgrace to everything the Round Table stood for. Maybe this land needs my Round Table to survive. How do the brigands sound like Americans? That's a good question, Scott. That is a good question. <laughs> Maybe Americans only sound like Americans because there were English people with American accents who went and settled North America. So maybe we didn't take our English accents over, as people think, and they developed into an American accent. Maybe it was an obscure part of England where the first ship sailed from. Yeah, I'm really clutching at straws here, but there's, there's, definitely, there's definitely an argument for that. The American accent existed in the UK, and, and yes, obviously, I, I think that explains things perfectly clearly. Ready to fight. Right, let's just, uh, should we just go for this? Let's go for this. Do I have an evil Merlin? I hope so. Actually, in in one of the... There's like a mini campaign you can do as one of the seasonal contents. You actually see Merlin in that. But you're playing as some weird demon thing in that, so it's, it's not exactly clear. Can I do this? It gets me into combat, so yes. Oh, I, I should move in to make room for the other guys, shouldn't I? Oh, I should have... Ah, uh... oh, bollocks. Okay. Well, that's all right. We're going to save those. Oh, I could go and overwatch. Right, if anyone goes in there... Let's see if that works. Let's see what Sir Balan can do. He doesn't have quite the... We're going to form a line, and we're going to do a good old military command. formation. We're going to form this wedge shape here, because then it's a lot harder for things to backstab us. And I'll put him on save as well. So we save some action points for next turn. I think that's important to, to remember to do. So you Americans are speaking proper English. Yeah. That's it. You've, you've, got, you've got the proper English going on. And we're just the, the rabble that was left behind, or came afterwards. Well... Okay, that felt a bit pink cushiony. So let's get someone in who's stood at the back. Your Highness. Are you able to get into a position where you could hit three attacks at once? Possibly, but I think we need to do okay, this first. So what have you got? A power attack. Well, that sounds nice. We'll just do a standard attack though. That seems to be enough. Advance and pause. I want you to I'm go here, to here and cleave that square. No, that doesn't work. Damn it. Okay, we don't want to cleave then. I guess we'll just go for a big chop. <laughs> that works. I'll take that, definitely. And for you. <laughs> now we need to try and cut down these range attackers, which is going to be a pesky nuisance we'll have one going to each i'm gonna go i'm gonna go this way oh and he runs around there of course he does <laughs> years ago your good friend of yours had a scottish boyfriend you need a translator for for, for, <laughs> for the scottish accent <laughs> oh who's this reinforcements i think who is this that's come along yeah, there's some, like, um, like a Glaswegian accent uh, can be quite strong. And it's not just that it's strong. It's sometimes they speak so fast 
that you have to stop and try and figure out each bit. And it's the same with like uh, like Scouse accents and sometimes Geordie accents as well. They're the other ones I have trouble with. And another one that's, that's an odd one, it's a really strong Suffolk accent and the accent itself is fine, but it's when they use their, their local um, dialect and, and colloquialisms and stuff. And then you have to sort of translate it in your mind. It's, it's quite fun and quite a challenge sometimes. Uh, I don't think you can do anything else. I'm just going to move him up close. I think he's going to get shot in the back, so I don't... I oh, ready. hang on. I should click that. And Sir Kay, I will move down here in case that he tries to get away. I mean, luckily we seem to be blocking everything at the moment. And again, please. I think... For king and country. Well, let's do this power attack. Now you are dead. Ah, oh! uh, Sir Mordred. You really don't have to thank me. Lady Dindrain? I've never heard of her. A lady with a bow. I could use someone like you. I'm Lady Dindrain, the Lord's chosen seeker of the Holy Grail. I always thought that this quest was meant for Galahad and Percival. Aren't you helpful? I wish I had thought of that earlier. So, where are the Grail Knights then? You must know them well. Do I know them? Yes, you can say so. Percival is my brother. A bright light in the encroaching darkness. Fighting his battles where I can't reach him. And Galahad? Galahad is... Well... Trust me when I say that he is truly lost. No, I'm alone in my holy quest. It is my trial by fire. So, don't tell me you're looking for the grail among these hovels. No, I'm looking for redemption in this hellhole, Tread Knight. By hunting down vermin like these? No, sir. I'm hunting down their leader. The Marauder Knight hiding in a ruined tower. Our destination is the same, then. The good Lord sent you, then. I'm always glad to have some walking shields around me. Let's go. Seeking the Grail like Monty Python. Yep. Our player's the Black Knight. More things to plunder. We got a potion. That's the first one of those I've seen, so we'll have to figure out. I bet you just assign it to like a quick slot and then you can maybe use it in battle. Hey Bob! Or fate. Lady Dindrain's got a bit of a southern twang. Southern England or like uh, southern United States. A I, I was perhaps. trying to place her accent, but I couldn't quite uh, get it. Your proficiency in spellcraft reveals that the shrine will unleash the following power. Regain armor. Right, so we want Bob. Uh, not we don't want Bob, sorry. We want Balan. Oh, maybe it's for all of these. Hang on. Use it. Select. The, oh, select a hero. Okay, so Balan. Nice. The other ones have got quite good armor. Wow! Actually, who is this one? Who is the second one? K. So K's got a lot of armor. Right, that looks like... Oh, we can zoom in and out of this. Do we get a map? Oh, we get a map. Right, okay. So what does the campfire do? Is it going to be like... Dark Souls, maybe? Does this go on somewhere else? Oh, I'm going up to a ruined tower. Okay, what what does this do? Select a resting action. Hit point recovery. Armor smith kit. Restores 75% of all heroes lost armor. Uh, I'm just going to cancel, actually, because they haven't... Oh, I can change the formation of this. Nice. Okay, I'm 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 enjoying this game at the moment. I think it's good. We found the shrine, we found the treasure. I felt like there's somewhere down here we could explore. They're chasing me! Help! There is indeed. Please. Southern US. I'll just have a listen to her then when we play. Change formation so tanks in front. Yeah, that's a good idea. Free the village. 
Protect the villager. Wave one of two. Well, uh, let's go... Let's go here. And overwatch like that. I like that, actually. That's a, that's a lot of good positions. I'll move up and I'll save the points. You, I think, can actually shoot from here. So let's get in range. What have we got? We've got a fire arrow. 70% weapon damage and causes burning on the damaged unit. Or just shoot. So. Well, let's see if. What does burning do? For how long? Two to three damage at the start of their turn. It's not quite enough, is it? She's a left-hander. Oh, well, that was that was a good shot. We'll have to check her archery form out properly. So who have we got left to do? I think it's only this chap, Sir Balan. Yeah, get him in front. And nothing to save. Oh, of course they've got archers. Hmm, I don't know how effective. Let's just batter him down, shall we? One down. Uh, save that. I don't know if I want to go in any closer. Oh, crap. I can't get these people in close enough. We've got to move in. Is there no position? Can I, I can overwatch. All right, I'm going to overwatch and see if this works. I need to actually pay attention to this. We can't overwatch there. Oh, is that telling me where I can be shot from? Or who? No, it's who I can. Who I'm in range of. So I would like to get. How about I just go... Right, so that is blocking my... Alright, interesting. Move her up a little bit. Who's got the 11 points? I'm going to set him on fire. <laughs> so his Overwatch attack didn't go off, but his did. So it seems like moving into Overwatch areas doesn't do anything, but moving through Overwatch areas might. We'll have to try and figure that one out, I think. Right, because you never get to, to, to do anything, we're going to... Um... No, it's not worth moving in. Is it worth moving up? I will hold the line. Uh, these two are easily going to die, so... Your command? I don't think I even need that, do I? <laughs> we will move up one. I can take them all. Let's see if that's true. <laughs> I mean, it might be true. You can... Well, let's get her in I first. The Lord. Oh. Nice. Skewered them. Shish kebob them. Is there anything to pick up around here? Don't see anything highlighted. Well, apart from this body here. Just reward. So free the village. I think my next step is to go and get the knight. So Lady Dindrain is straight into her hit points there. So she has no armor whatsoever. We'll have to try and oh, hello. Thank you for saving me. That accent sounded I don't know. Sounded French, maybe? French person speaking English. Uh, let's click on this. Let's go for... 
It got her back up. Let's quick save. This is multiplayer as well, by the way, folks. If you want to play this with your friends, you can. This is where the Lord of the Vermin is hiding. Let's cleanse this hovel once and for all. So the the awkward uh, guys I have found. Gotta be careful with this because I can't move the map. It moves the entire group. Um, where's going to be the best way to come in from? I, I'd say just jump into this. What was I going to say? I thought I was going to say before the game interrupted me. How old is this game? I think it's about a year. I think it was last year it came out. And it's just had some, some big update. It was one that went slightly under the radar, but the few people I know that played it said they did enjoy it. It's a bit grey. I guess it's trying to represent the uh, the ruined stone things of, uh, of of Camelot. Or just a, just a realm that's been destroyed. I think we'll probably see something a bit different later. So let me see... He's going to be armoured. I'm probably going to bounce off him. Oh, we're just moving people in at the moment. Right. Let's get... I am here to serve. Let's get fat ass to the front. None can stand in my way. I need I need Mordred up against the raider, definitely. For King uh, and, and we're going to try and... We're going to try and tank some of these other guys down. Yes, we are. We're going to come in from a flank here and cause some mayhem. Oh, my archer on a flank might be a good idea. Blessings. Although she can see. No, screw it. I'm going to put her over over here. Right, begin. And do I think I always get to go first. No mercy for the wicked. <laughs> nice. Nice, I will most definitely take that. Move in. Save that point. So, Sir Mordred, I can go at him, but I kind of want to keep him entertained, so... At your service, my lord. I think we can kill these archers in one go. <laughs> that sounded definitely like a death, didn't it? I am ready. Yeah, it seems that going first in this definitely has a major advantage. Having said that, I can probably take this guy out. No, I'm going to go straight in. He's on the floor. Good. Marauder Knight, he can stay down there. I'd say let's make him vulnerable. That sounds like a good thing to do. And then slap him one. And then I think... Is there any way of seeing if people have action points I'm left? Here to serve. I don't think they do. So he gets up. He's got reduced action points. He comes in with his bow. Wish you could see how many uh, uh, people you're in combat with. You can see on the mini-map up here a little bit, up the top right. But yeah, I think yeah, I think what we're used to is things like Baldur's Gate 3 and Celasta showing like a turn sequence. And this just seems to be a, a your team's turn, enemy team's turn that it goes. The pictures up here show the action points left. Oh, they do underneath. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that's what they were. Right, so that's I handy. For honor. Don't think we need to use the big attack. <laughs> and then... We're on. I see. Yep, so they they blank out. Brilliant. Let's move in a little bit. Uh, you. It's okay. Your Highness. Never quite get in far enough, can he? I'm going to try and... Because if I do that, he won't even come into the Overwatch zone, will he? I'm going to have to move in and then save points. It's a shame his attack is so expensive. Oh my god, what's he done to get all this flipping armor? Yeah, something tells me I should probably have saved my vulnerability thing. 
He's going to take some chopping down, isn't he? Oh, into cover. Definitely into cover. He's going to be in cover. I wonder if I can... Can I set him on fire? No, it didn't go through his armor. Okay, that was worth a try. Right, okay. We've got to start thinning some of these guys down now. Awaiting your command. Nice, at least he's dead. Uh, we need to get there. You need to come in okay, and get I'm behind country. him. Right, so we're getting some backstabs going on next turn, which is good. We're going to definitely make him vulnerable again. <laughs> For what that does, don't know if it's worth it. It, it looks like it should be, but I'm not quite sure how that's working. Uh, save those. Does that mean that's too close? I think that means... This guy's in cover. I'm going to might as well move up then. Oh, nice. She steps out of cover to take the shot. I like that. We're in a gunfight now. And then our turn. So he's turned round. Right, so... Oh, if, it, if he turns round every time, I think we can take advantage of this Ready to, to get fight. the backstab bonus in. That was a backstab. Does he turn round? He does not. Time I thought he might turn round ravens. to face each enemy. There's another wholesome backstab. Your command? None shall stand against me. Well, he's down anyway, so that's 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 the main thing. The Lord is my witness. It's nice having an archer on the team. It seems I was wrong about you, Mordred. Careful with the praise, it makes me uncomfortable. I shall give you an advice then. Camelot is in danger. Not from these marauders, but the creatures of darkness beyond the Bridge of Sorrow. You mean your ancestral bridge? My brother Balin is standing guard in the bridge fort, holding back the tides at midnight. This almost sounds like a praise. There has been bad blood between us. He is cruel and arrogant, a savage in battle. But even Balin will fall if you don't help him out. And you? I have fulfilled my oath. If you decide to march to the bridge now, I will meet you there. I'll see you at the bridge. That's interesting then, so... The characters don't necessarily stay with you, and I'm just as a little concerned that he's just run off with... Oh, no, he, I haven't given him armor. He appeared here, didn't he? He's not someone I've given equipment to. That's okay, then. This is my lucky day. A room for one-handed weapons. I know there's another chest showing up. I'm going to have a run around and make sure there's nothing else that I've missed. Yeah, okay, it just says finish the mission, so I think we need to go and find... Where's the chest? There it is. A room for two-handed weapons. Nice. And some gold. Haven't found anything to spend the money on yet. Check out the riches you collected. Oh, it's gone. No injuries, which is good. She's leveled up. And this is the loot that we got. Continue. So now I can rebuild Camelot. Every lord needs a castle. I knew it from the very beginning that I will rule this realm from Camelot. Finally, the time is right. We have gathered the resources and the manpower to rebuild that majestic ruin. Camelot will shine a bright light into the gathering darkness of Avalon. Let Camelot rise again. Oh, okay. So this isn't just a castle. This is a city with stuff to do. This, this now looks like this is going to be quite quite engaging. So towering above the timbered rooftops, this majestic building preaches the glory of the one true faith. The cathedral offers salve not only for the soul, salve, salve, but also for the body. You can heal the most grievous wounds of your knights here. Uh, forge. It's 
stone setter crafts legendary items in a workshop of wonders. Rare gemstones can be found all across Avalon, and the stone cutter can forge these gems. Nice. Training ground. That requires the merchant, so we need the merchant before we can get the training ground. The merchant requires the hospice. So the hospice requires nothing. Avalon can be a harsh and unforgiving place. Your wounded heroes need time and care to recover for the next nightly quest. The hospice. The hospice. Trying, struggling to say these words today. Offering comfortable beds and skilled healers is the right place for that. Reconstruction. That's a nice, nice touch. Okay. At the moment, you only have one treatment slot where you can heal your heroes. Treatment takes time and you won't be able to use your hero during that period. The recovery time will be reduced by one after every completed mission. Nice. Okay. You can reconstruct this building, expand its abilities, upgrade the building to unlock additional three treatment slots. Well, at the moment, this isn't this isn't a problem, so... You can assign a hero from your hero list to this title. A building with an assigned leader gains additional benefits. Certain hero traits can have an effect on the title, so be sure to pay attention to them. A hero can only hold one title at a time. Nice, so I didn't realise the game had this side to it at all, where we're basically putting lieutenants or whatever you want, captains in charge of the buildings. This is this is quite nice. We're not going to be able to do anything else with this now. And no one's injured, so we don't need to worry about it. So that's good. We have a crypt. The resting place of your hero has fallen in battle, left to perish into dust. Select their tombstones to pay respect. Remember how their heroic deeds helped you on... I'm guessing we're going to take casualties then. An enchanted tower. Uh, this mysterious tower is an isolated and important place dedicated to the mystical arts of magic. By tapping into the arcane energies of Avalon, you can gain forbidden knowledge from magical items and you can buy new ones. So, what would the merchant give us? I think the merchant is next, is it? Oh, we can do this now. Um, let's just, before I do this, can I zoom out? Can I... I'm just going to level her up before I forget. You love archer characters? I do. Hey, T-Pode. Nice to see you. Right, so she... Oh, we've got... A rune of wrestling, a rune for ranged weapons. So it's plus two damage against knockdown units. So you can see how the skills and abilities are now starting to to line up together. Where does this go? Can I just right click in there? That, that's quite cool. And armor. We've got uh, endurance. This is for heavy. I'm guessing she can't use this then. No, they're they're readied out. Okay. Jewelry. We've got 10% damage reduction in cover. Yeah, because she's going to be in cover a lot as a, as a ranged character, I suspect. And this is a healing potion, which she's already got one of, so I'll give this to the other guys. What's this one? A poisoned arrow. Range attack deals 100% weapon damage and poisons the damage for two turns. That sounds really, really good. Um, I think I might just take that. This hero detects enemy traps from a number of tiles range equal to the hero's perception. And the hero gains one movement AP each turn and plus one perception. That sounds so, so good. Wait, can we... Oh, these can be upgraded as well, look. I didn't realize you could upgrade the abilities just with these extra things too. Deflection, the hero receives minus one damage from ranged attacks. That sounds useful, but perhaps later on. Once a turn, the hero gains 2 AP when killing a unit. 20% overwatch damage. Oh, that might be good for a ranged unit, eh? Hey, Tom. How's it going? I think... I'm hoping she's going to be a permanent team member, Catherine. I don't know. We'll have to see. Maybe none of these are going to be permanent. They might leave due to story-related things. Mission conscious. No loyalty from court titles. Oh, these are a trait. So she's Christian. Covenant. Plus one loyalty... After every other Christian hero in the round table. Beloved. Healing injuries cost less gold for this hero. Herbalist. While appointed as a hospitaller in the hospice, increases the healing done by consuming healing potions by 4% for all heroes. We need someone like that. Who later on, when we use a healing potion, when we're in combat, I'm going to guess that that gives us a nice bonus. Okay. That means that she... Because if I put her in the hospital... Wait, no. I'm not sure that she won't be available, actually. We'll, we'll check that out. Uh, 2 AP when killing a unit. That might be enough to get another shot off. 
But that's a free movement OP. Oh, oh God, this, they're all so good. They are all so good. Uh, I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for traps and free movement every turn. To start with. Lady Dindrain. She seems quite good. Right, let's go over to Sakei. He's got a healing potion. What's he currently got? He's got... Regain two hit points when resting. So we could give him... Oh, that looks... Oh, that would give him... Oh, I see. Right, so some of these have more... So he's got a Sigil of Respite equipped. Is that... I just take that off a sec. Right, so that gives him minus two action points on that one. That's why he wasn't moving in anywhere. That gives him minus one, and that gives him minus one. I guess it's from having heavy armor, right? So it's 18.5 minus one, 22.5 minus one, 37 minus two. Minus two action points is a lot, but we managed. And this gives him uh, one injury token, which we're not quite sure. I'm going to leave him on that. And also, he had a two-handed weapon. Rune for two, a rune of bloodletting. So that's going to increase. It's going to. That's good arm breaking on that, if that's what it does. That's definitely an improvement. So the rune of steel. I don't think we get that to sell. I think that's. Oh, I tell a lie. We do. Right, I don't know how we sell it, but we'll try and figure that out later. And the two-handed weapon, sorry, the two one-handed weapon runes. What have we got here? We've got the rune of strength. So it's slightly more damage, but way more, way more armor breaking. Or we've got the backstabber's rune, plus two damage for backstab attacks. Don't think that's all that great, so I'm going to go with that one. And do we have some armor? We do have armor we can put on. Let's take that off so I can see what these are. These are the same. So it's a choice of 22, 5, minus 1. Oh, well, that's 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 a no-brainer then, isn't it? So he, he should have two injury tokens. And we can see the stats affected here. I think I'm, I'm working my way through this. Fast metabolism. A drill master. When appointed as Master of Arms in the training ground increases all heroes' physical debuff resist by 1%. Oh, we're going to we're going to have to like spend put some people into these buildings. Absolutely. Uh right, so that's that bit done. I'm just going to check though. If I put someone in here, it's just the title. I don't know that she's not available. Okay, I think she's still available. Who's put up the Christmas decorations? Your neighbours have in October. I've got a few you can see behind us. Uh, but yeah, we put the tree up last night, so so our house is decorated, or as much as it's, it's going to be. And then we can upgrade these things. All right, I don't know that we're using healing potions. I'll tell you what's going to make the difference here. It looks like that this is just... Oh, do we have a, a Grand Master? This is a legendary gathering place of the Noble Knights of Camelot, the seat of the Monarch of Avalon. You can pass laws, issue decrees, and give knighthood to heroes, but first you have to unlock its functions. Heroes outside of your active roster are waiting here. You can add heroes from here if there are empty slots in your hero list. The aspirant heroes will be leveling up automatically, but they will always be three levels behind your highest leveled hero. Upgrade the round table to expand your hero list to acquire more heroes to your active roster. Give knighthoods to your heroes to increase their loyalty to Royal Protector. What's this one? We can't afford it. It's just more hero slots. The Grand Master. Cost, the gold cost of decrees is reduced by 10%. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm guessing. Can we not see from here? There's a lot to, there's a lot to take in with this game. Right, so he is talented. Learning active skills cost only one skill point for this hero. So he can upgrade these much cheaper. Nice. Ambitious. He gets more loyalty from court titles, so we should put him in there. And he's stubborn. Okay. The drill master one sounds good. So we don't have the training ground yet, do we? No, we don't. 
So I am going to give him the court title. And I'm going to give him. If I can drop a hero to claim the cost of this. Can I not do anything else then? Oh, maybe I can't put Sir Mordred in there. It's not letting me move him. So I'm assuming that we're going to have these guys available to fight after this. Do we press escape? Right, so I can't do anything with these these areas. I can't click on them. I can go to the Bridge of Sorrow or I can go to the Pillages of Kingsto. 